episodes because there's so many people that have so many questions or just so many topics about life and you know maybe they don't feel comfortable talking to somebody they know or maybe they don't really have anyone to talk to or maybe you just want to pick my brain and see what's going on inside so I got a lot of cool questions I got some funny ones I got some really deep ones I got some controversial ones but um today we're just gonna focus on a couple of them um and just really see what you know what I got for you let's see okay I have some good ones question number one if you had to pick a new stage name what would it be hmm I think it would be like Genie Law or something like that. I thought of J Law, but it sounds too much like J Lo. So we're not doing that. But maybe that'll be my rock band um, name. <laughs> Alright. This one was really interesting. It says If you had the opportunity to experience heaven in all its glory for a few short moments with permission from God, would you accept? <laughs> um, of course. Wouldn't you accept? I mean, to experience heaven, I dream of what that would be like. The streets paved with gold and the gates and the jewels and pearls and emeralds and all sorts of rubies and all kinds of beautiful things. And to actually spend a day with God, that would be amazing. That would be, that would be it. I probably won't want to come back. But um, let's not rush that one because I still got work to do here. Alright. Let's see, I got some more good ones. But this person asked me for advice. And um... She says she had a friend who was attending church and they were both growing together spiritually and her boyfriend attended a few meetings but he didn't really like it. They broke up mostly because I guess the girl was going to church. Um, she believed in Jesus and he didn't. When they broke up she was really flourishing in God and asking questions about the Bible and attending Bible studies and them two were getting closer as a friend. So this question is coming from someone who has a friend who used to go to church and because her her boyfriend didn't like it, she liked it, but her boyfriend didn't, they broke up. And when they broke up, um, this person's friend was growing in God and really getting like really crazy about God and, and them two as a friend as friends were growing closer. Then two weeks later, she got back with her boyfriend and completely stopped going to church. And it's been a month, it's been some time. And she says she's happy and she didn't stop going to church, but she, the person writing this says they haven't seen their friend. She even stopped hanging out with her and they've been friends since the age of 10. Um, she's concerned that her friend stopped going because of this boyfriend, and she, she really thinks that it would be best for her friend to continue growing in God. Um, she, it's kind of a lengthy question, but it's pretty intense, um, she says she really wants her friend back and she's losing strength and she doesn't know if she should leave her be or let her choose her own way or fight till the end to get her friend back, um, I guess to church and to get her friend back as their relationship and her friend also has a daughter and she doesn't want, you know, this to really interfere. The good book says a friend loves at all times. Um, sometimes in life, we, we don't really have the answers. In this situation, you don't know why your friend stopped coming, or why your friend 
okay, maybe she stopped coming, but she even stopped being your friend. And as a friend, you want to be there for her. You want to just really extend that hand and be friends and experience God together since you go to church, which is, which is beautiful. But um, as a friend, I think you should tell her, you know, you miss her and that you really, you know, want for her to come back and you guys to fellowship with God together and... You know, you saw how beautifully she was growing during that period of time. In this situation, you have to use a lot of wisdom. Because if you don't use wisdom and you sound too overbearing, then she's going to think that you're kind of some religious freak. And her boyfriend, if he's trying to discourage her, you know, he'll jump on that bag wagon to just leave you alone. Bandwagon, rather. But, um, I think as a friend, you still have to love her. And you're a Christian. So you show her the love of Christ. Jesus wouldn't give up on her. He hasn't give up on her. He hasn't give up on her boyfriend who doesn't even believe in him. So you just really have to love her and pray her through. Pray her through this time. Maybe, you know, she wasn't strong enough to get, you know, to, to uh, withstand this. And, you know, she probably gave in to a weakness and um, sacrificed, you know, fellowshipping with God and fellowshipping with you for someone that she loves. And you can't really blame her for that because maybe she just doesn't know, you know, what choice is the best choice to make. It says, um, you know, two are better than one because if one should fall, then they have the other one to lift them up. And I think you in this situation, you think that your friend is falling or she might fall. And you can just be her support to lift her up. Let her know how her light was shining those few weeks. You, you said she was growing beautifully. Just in wisdom, don't say, you know, well, now that you're not coming, like, I don't see that anymore. Or before when you were with him, you weren't like that. But when you were alone, you really grew. She probably knows, and you know, if, I'm sure if you told her before, then let it be. Maybe if she doesn't know, you can kind of mention it, but you have to be wise. Just let her know that you saw her beauty in those weeks, and you never seen her stronger before than in that time. And I think that she will, she will come around, and you guys will, your relationship will restore. And if it doesn't, and if that is a choice, we all have a choice to make, and if she chooses not to come around and to kind of just leave you be, then you really just have to sow it as a seed and continue to pray for her and love her and be pleasant. But we are all given a freedom to choose, and you would just have to sometimes, you know, I sadly, I know that sometimes friends grow apart. And as much as you try to keep it together because of the relationship you had, Sometimes you just grow in two separate directions, but she will always be your friend and if she comes back running You have to extend your arms to her like Jesus would Okay, that was a long one, but it was a very good one um, I also got a message from someone from Brazil which was interesting because all the other questions I got were from New York or from, actually not even from New York, but from America. Um, I got some from, I believe, New Jersey and uh, California. And this one's coming from Brazil. Um, she says... Well, she says she's a fan, and I thank you so much for being a fan. It's really sweet of you and I'm really glad that you love what I do and that's why I do it. Um, she says to bear with her English because it's not so good but she really did a great job. Okay, she says I have a boyfriend and they will make three years in September. They met on the internet and at first he was very excited to see her. In 2008, they fought and had and they broke up, and he was a little weird with her. And they would fight and get back together and fight and get back together. We all know what that's like. Um, not very healthy there. Um, 
she says that time went by and they they really hadn't seen each other for a while until today, which was the day that she wrote me this message. She says he changed a lot and it seems like they he no longer wants to be with her. Um, she's not sure. She says, I don't know. She could be wrong. But he doesn't talk right with her. He doesn't want to know, I think, anything about her life. But she says she loves him. Even with all... Even with all his faults, she loves him. Um, she says it's somewhat, it's somewhat difficult to understand. But she just wanted some advice. What can she do? Okay, so... You have a boyfriend, or you had a boyfriend, or you guys are on and off, and um, you guys were good for a while, and then, you know, th something changed. He started to act funny with you, and you kind of, you don't know what to do. You still love him very much, and I think that that's where, you know, it's becoming hard. Because if you didn't love him, you wouldn't care. You would just leave him, and you'd be like, you know what, whatever. You go on with your life, I go on with mine. But you love him. But you said he doesn't treat you well. And um, that right there is a problem. You know, um, I think first of all, before you could really truly love anybody, you have to understand what it is to love yourself and what you're worth. And in this situation, if you already think he's not treating you well, then you, you have an idea of how you should be treated. And um, if he's not treating you well and he's changed, first I think you should talk to him because you love him. And maybe he loves you and maybe he just doesn't know how to express his love or whatever the case is. You can talk to him and see, you know, where he stands. Let him know, look, I think you've changed and you're not treating me right and I need to be treated better or we can't be together anymore. If you did this already, then maybe it's just not time for you to be in that type of relationship or you definitely shouldn't deal with somebody mistreating you. He um he needs to understand that you know you're precious and if he loves you he will treat you right. Maybe he doesn't know how to love. A lot of people don't know how to love. But it's because a lot of people don't love themselves. So you can always give him advice and see where he's at with that. But if you know where you are in life and what you deserve and who you are in God, then you don't need anyone to mistreat you or you don't need any other kind of love. So my first advice is to spend time with you and figure out who you are and all that. And... Then you'll be able to relate with him better. But I hope things get better with you guys. And I want you to write to me and let me know what happens. But don't stress yourself out about, about it. Because if he doesn't love you, then there's plenty more out there for you to experience. But first, you got to figure out who you are in God. And who you are as a person. And who you want to be. And, and you got to love yourself. Because if you love yourself, then you have all confidence and people will love you too. Okay, my time is running short because YouTube has only given us 15 minutes now. So I'm going to cut it off here and I'll continue with another episode soon. Thank you for...